Let's test this sucker out. Good boy, Danny boy. As you can see, the pointer for the Wiimote acts as a pretty accurate targeting device. Which I could say the same thing for when I'm holding the cell phone and trying to shoot at the same time. This is interesting. And the levels get harder. But I think that's a sufficient demonstration just to kind of show how well it actually works here. I will go through the tower sequence real quick just to finish it off here. Oh shoot, I can't see the turrets from the cell phone cam. <laughs> Let me look outside here. Well, anyway, so you get the idea. I'm going to take and reset. But, um, yeah. So, um, as you can see, using the Wiimote to uh, control games inside, uh, I'm using, uh, for this example, I did Star Wars. Let me go ahead and turn the lights back up here. Sorry, wrong deal. There we go. Oops, sorry. As you can see, using candles right now is not a perfect way to do light bar, but it works. Whoop. <laughs> So, um, yeah, as you can see, full control of the Wii inside Linux MCE, and um, without any further ado, would just like to point out that all I'm using here was a standard Wii remote. It's actually here in my hand, as you can see right here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I also have the classic controller modifications, and that works with it just as well. I'll be posting up more videos in the next couple of days, but I thought you guys could see this. I absolutely was floored when this act when this worked right out of the box. This is like one of the most awesome things I've ever done. Anyway, um, hopefully talk to you guys in the next couple of days with another progress report. This is Chuck signing off.